Liftoff, the SpaceX Falcon 9 carrying tests. This isn't the first mission to search for new worlds, but it may be NASA's most revealing. For the next two years, the TESS satellite will take over from the Kepler Space Telescope in search of alien planets. Whilst in orbit, this new telescope will observe 200,000 of the brightest stars in the sky. Mission scientists say it could discover 20,000 new worlds. Now, TESS is going to dramatically increase the number of planets that we have to uh, study. Um, it, it's going to more than double the number that have, have been seen uh, and detected by by Kepler, uh, and moreover, uh, the planets that we're going to find will, will span a, a, a much uh, greater range of host star types than was the case for Kepler. When the Kepler Space Telescope launched in 2009, it transformed our understanding of planets beyond our own solar system. Based on its observations, astronomers now believe the Milky Way is home to at least two billion potentially habitable planets. Kepler only observed a fraction of the sky. TESS is able to see far more. The exoplanet community is very enthusiastic. It's a vibrant community. And there are a lot of people very eager to get their hands on the data and start doing some great science with it. And I think, you know, I think that over the coming years, we're going to see a, an enormous number of brilliant scientific results coming out of TESS data from across the entire community. I'm really excited for that. For the next 60 days, mission scientists will be running tests and ironing out bugs as the satellite begins its orbit. The first batches of data won't be released for months, but if life is out there, TESS may be the project that finds it. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera.